John Edwards from MaryvilleSaints.com, joined by head soccer coach Lori Kolopny. And coach, welcome to a new season, uh, an abbreviated uh, summer for you because you played in the spring. Talk a little bit about the transition from playing in the spring to now starting here again in August. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's it's a little different going from season right into another season, uh, but but we're excited. We're we're ready to get back into a normal fall routine. I know that the team is is excited. It just feels normal again. And then in the spring, we were just grateful to get on the field, but now this really feels like our normal fall season. And so uh, we're just pumped to get back out there. You start the season on the road. You travel to Florida this weekend and. Talk a little bit about how that came about and how you're going to start away. And really, you won't see a home game until the end of September. Yeah, um, it, we're, we're really excited to get on the road. I think one of the one of the best ways to to, uh, you know, get comfortable and, and sort of uh, do some team bonding stuff is to just get on the road uh, and spend time with one another. So we're, we're glad that this trip comes at the beginning of the season. Um, and I think this will be a really good bonding experience for the group, uh, especially, you know, to, to get on a plane together and go to Florida um, and just have some unique experiences, um, I think will, will help to bring us together and, and hopefully bode well for, uh, you know, that camaraderie and sort of cohesion as we go through the season. Talk about your exhibition season. Just two games for you guys. You played SEMO, a tough game through the first 45. And talk about that match against SEMO. And then talk about your most recent one against Wash U. Yeah, we played two really tough exhibition matches uh, throughout preseason. Uh, two teams that are just of really great quality. And I, I'm really, really pleased uh, with the way the team played. Sometimes, you know, you walk away with uh, with a loss and it kind of feels like you're defeated, but I don't feel that way at all. Um, I'm really, really happy with the way we played, um, for, for really 75, 80 minutes against SEMO. Um, I thought we, we played extremely, extremely well. And we just lost our legs there at the end because we were in the first week of preseason and really hadn't tapered into that game. So, um, I was excited to see the fight out of the team and just kind of the grit to, to battle together. Uh, I thought they played really well. And then to turn around and play against, um, you know, a, a really high level WashU team who was, you know, ranked to, I think top five um, in D3 world. Um, and they have a lot of class and a lot of uh, um, uh, talent on that team. And, and I, I thought, you know, they scored in the last five minutes of the game. We, we battled, we created some chances of our own. And I thought the pro progress we made from the SEMO game to the WashU game was phenomenal. So really excited to, to get, uh, get into these games that count. Talk about your team a little bit. Uh, you have a lot of veteran presidents who come back this year, uh, starting in goal with Katie Nash. Yeah, and she played phenomenal, uh, especially in this game against Wash U. Man, she made some saves that just kept us in it. Um, so she's she's played great. Uh, we do have a lot of experience in our back line um, and a lot of players who are returning, both our seniors and our kind of super seniors, uh, our fifth year players who who are getting an extra shot at, uh, at a senior season. So uh, a lot of experience out there. We also brought in um, six uh, a freshman who are all contributors um, and have proven to to uh, be able to come in and kind of raise our level. So, um, so yeah, we're, we're starting to come together. You've always had some depth in your back group. Uh, do you feel that, that you have that depth again going into this year? Yeah, absolutely. Um, a lot of experience, a lot of depth. Uh, you know, um, we, we started a, a very young uh, back line last year. So uh, some of the players who aren't, you know, aren't uh, upperclassmen yet, but still very experienced and, and players that we feel a lot of confidence in and who are really leaders on the field. Uh, Brooks Slater being one of those who played a lot of minutes for us and is really now stepping into more of a leadership role. Um, uh, but, but yeah, we are, we are very deep in the back line and that's a good thing because uh, they work hard and, and we need a, a rotation and keep them fresh uh, throughout the season. Talk about your midfield. Uh, you lost a few players in the midfield and talk about the incoming group this year. Yeah, uh, the midfield group, um, a lot of actually a lot of returners, a lot of a lot of familiar faces. Um, Mandy Kaltwasser is always our, our kind of go to player uh, all over the field because she covers so much ground for us. But uh, but you'll see her in the midfield again this year. Um, and she she looks fresh. She looks ready to go. Uh, so excited to see what she produces. And of course, we've got Sammy Folson, um, who has kind of been our steady stalwart there in the defensive mid who uh, will uh, you can expect to see a lot of minutes from and a lot of uh, composure and just um, consistency. 
up front. Lexi Gentry was a, a freshman for you last year, uh, tied for the team leading goals. And what are you expecting from Le Lexi this year? Uh, I'm hoping more of the same. Uh, <laughs> a lot of goals out of Lexi. Uh, now she 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 brings a lot of creativity, a lot of just uh, different looks to the team. She's so extremely talented and and confident on the ball. Um, and then we slide in um, Tori Calvert up top with her as well, um, who is you know a fast and just kind of gritty player who brings a lot of energy and a lot of, uh, uh, you know, kind of just keeps the ball alive in there and, and creates some chances for us. So I think, um, I think the two of them will, uh, will have a great season. Uh, recruiting this year was a little bit off and I had to talk to a chance to talk to coach corn earlier. And he said uh, he had to rely a lot on film and a lot of kids that you may have gotten a chance to see in the springtime, especially the local kids. Talk about the challenge that you had this year, not just you, but across the country. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been different. It, and I think, um, you know, the, the teams that are most successful will be the teams that can adapt to to that the best because um, it, 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 nothing is the same right now. <laughs> Everything is just slightly different. Uh, yeah, film uh, uh, recruiting, uh, the time line of recruiting has been shifted a little bit just because uh, players weren't playing for a period of time. Um, but yeah, re relying a lot on film. Um, and I think, uh, you know, relying on, on the players to kind of adapt and, and make sure that their games are being filmed. And um, so I think it's been, it's been tough on everybody, uh, but, uh, but we're making it through. And, uh, you know, with a little bit of grit and resiliency, we can, we can figure it out. Do you think that moving forward, seeing film is going to be the way of recruiting moving forward? Um, yes and no. I mean, I, I think film from uh, a coaching perspective is, is a lot easier, uh, not having to get out to, to games all the time watching film, but uh, it's no replacement for for being there live and in person. So I think it's a good like first step uh, in the recruiting process and, and to kind of get on somebody's radar to kind of see what, what somebody's capable of. But then, you know, I do think that we miss out on that component of, of really being able to some, see somebody play in person because there's so much that you don't capture on film. Um, and so, so I'm, I hope, you know, maybe we can rely on a little bit of both moving forward. You have a you have a veteran group, but you brought in a lot of freshmen this year. How important is it for an early trip to Florida going to help with the team bonding? Yeah, I think that, that's why we scheduled the trip um, is that it is it is huge for team bonding. Uh, in fact, I, I hate when we're home the first couple weekends of the season, because I think you got to get on the road, you got to get in the hotels, you got to be on buses together and just kind of uh, get uncomfortable uh, to, to sort of start to bond and start that process, uh, especially bringing in uh, six freshmen um, and, and three of those being international. So uh, it is, that kind of brings a different component as well uh, because you're, you know, uh, bringing in players who have completely different background uh, than the players that, that we have. So uh, yeah, I think that that will go a long way uh, to sort of bringing the group together. And, uh, but we've done a lot in preseason. We're making up for lost time because we really didn't spend much time together last year because of all the COVID restrictions. So a big part of our preseason was sort of making up for lost time and almost going overboard with being together, spending time together, being in the same room um, and just enjoying each other's presence again. So hopefully that pays dividends on the back end. With a trip like this early in the season before conference play, is it important for you to get some of the younger players some minutes to get them ready for the conference schedule? Yeah, absolutely. I, I do think uh, getting their feet wet um, at this level um, is a big part of this trip. Uh, we know how how tough the GLVC conference is, and I think we're using these two games as sort of a tune-up for that. Uh, but it's a long season, so uh, we we know, we don't want to be peaking yet. We want to we want to sort of grow uh, through the season, um, and and part of that is getting players minutes, getting them comfortable, um, and and just you know gr learning from mistakes and just growing. Um, and so yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get a lot of players a lot of minutes, um, and and start to to uh, you know get players comfortable in our system and and uh, comfortable with this team. What's the one thing that excites you most about this season? Oh man, that's a, that's a tough question. Uh, you know, I, it's, 
I'm, I'm excited about um, the, the, the mentality of the group that we've got so far. We've played two really tough exhibition games, but, um, but the, the grit, the mentality, the energy that they brought uh, to those games was phenomenal. If we can bring that to, to every game this season, we're going to go really far. Um, but I think, we, you know, we brought in a lot of, a lot of freshman talent. Uh, we're, we're really good soccer players, and, and I'm excited to see where that goes for us. But I think it all starts with that foundation of, of just fighting and just, you know, um, being brave on the field and, and taking risks and, uh, and, and, and uh, doing it together. And I think that that's a, we, we've got that foundation um, and, and I'm excited to grow, to grow with that. Coach, best of luck this weekend down in Florida. Uh, I won't get a chance to see you until the end of September, but I look forward to seeing you guys back in town here in a couple of weeks and, uh, and, and best of luck this season. And I look forward to getting a chance to talk to you all year long. Sounds great. Thank you.